Hi, uh, my name is Edwin and I'm a fast bowler and I've been using the, the Leela Exigen suit for about a month now. Uh, and I'm going to try and explain what I've been doing and what I'm trying to achieve. So as a fast bowler, uh, I land on front on. So basically my legs kind of like point towards the batsman on, on impact, back foot impact. Uh, and with that, I don't really access my power in my hips because I don't really rotate. So I land front on, so I kind of like rely uh, on my run up speed. Where with me, my run up speed is not really fast. I like sort of running in slow. So that doesn't give me an advantage in the, the way I bowl, the, style, the bowling style that I, I usually am. So what I'm trying to do is trying to get myself to be a little side on, so sort of in the midway, so that I can use uh, the rotational power in my hip, which again will give me a shoulder hip separation, so which will give me an extra bit of speed. So with that, I won't really have to increase my run-up speed by quite a bit, but just a little increase and with my rotational power in my hips can actually improve my speed. So I've started off doing basic drills like isometric holds with, with the Exigen suit. So the thing with Exigen suit is that you, you don't feel like something else is pulling you. It feels like your leg feels heavier or it's your, you know, whichever part you load, that feels a lot heavier, but it doesn't feel really funny. So the isometric holds are quite, it does get really hard. Uh, and I just load it vertically, uh, point, yeah, uh, with the heavy side of the, at the bottom. So it gets more pressure. Uh, and I've actually tried out different uh, orientations when I try to bowl. So that's the isometric hold. And after that, I try and bowl, like take a couple of steps and then try and kind of like groove my move into it. Uh, so basically, I've tried different load orientations. I've tried vertical, horizontal. And with different things, I find like loading the two d legs differently, really, I could find a diff like a significant effect in the way I, I performed. So if I load in my right leg, which I'm going to rotate horizontally with the heavy side on on the outside, so that'll kind of like make it harder for me to rotate internally. So uh, so that that's what I've done. So I could like uh, uh, get the motor skill going on. And along with that, with my left leg, initially I, I started off loading it with my, the heavy side down vertically so that you know I have a lot of pressure on my leg when I land so that kind of like builds the strength in my left leg so I could like brace my front leg but then I realized after that I mean the weight would either ways give me the pressure but what I saw that uh, in my bowling was that I wasn't really lifting my leg up so in, in so what I did was I changed the side and I had the heavy heavy side on top so that it gives a little more inertia and pushes my leg a little higher. And that actually, I could feel a difference, especially when I ran in a bit quicker and kind of like try to lift my leg a little faster. It did help me like kind of like assist me to get my leg higher and, and that automatically kind of like made my long, my stride longer. So again, that's what I'm trying to do. So I'm trying to kind of like get uh, a, sh a shoulder hip separation with the hip rotation and also get lower to the ground so that would be like by getting um, a longer stride length so these are the two low orientations that I've tried and with the weights I start off I go heavy medium and light and sometimes I go heavy light and medium uh, so uh, the weights I roughly I kind of like loaded about 1 kg to about 200 400 grams depending on like how tired I get because these things really get me tired after like about 20 balls so I, 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 I do like about 20 balls heavy 20 balls medium and 10 balls light light being I don't load it at all so I do 10 without loading at all and that really I feel really good when I do that I, it feels quick and I feel like I'm going through it so the first initial weeks 
I found it a bit uh, hard because especially I, I started with one step or probably just standing and twisting and kind of like getting into the motion right but I could really see an improvement really quickly like about in two weeks which which is quite significant because I know my friends who were trying to do the same thing but it took them a lot longer to really get the side uh, like the rotation going on but with with the oxygen suit I found it really helping me kind of like rotate a lot better which which helps me That as you're going to say, so I feel like I have to use my hips to really get around. Okay, I have to really use my hips to turn. So, due to the overload, you feel yeah. you have to activate your hips a bit more. So, then that becomes a great specific strength training um, you can't replicate that anywhere in the machine and this is specific it's kind of like when I take you through the pose so basically what I mean asymmetric pose I get onto a, a semi side arm position and kind of like lift my leg I stay there for like about half a minute probably one if I can and if it's getting easier I just kind of like stand on my pose and from there on which I can't like move my other positions which would be like I, I take a step forward and then rotate land so step forward rotate land so the lower orientations like horizontal with the heavy side on, on the inside because because now since I've got skill going on I want to get my rotation a lot quicker so I can go get through quicker and on, on the left side I've done this so that I can, you know, get the leg higher and go forward so I get a longer swipe. So if I just, see that? So if I just, uh, like, run into the crease, like, take a couple of steps and run into my body, this is how it will be. And, um, yeah, if I want to make it a little more challenging, I get a weighted ball in my hand. So I really get the hip shoulder separation, so like my hips and shoulder, kind of like the weighted ball will pull me back and my hips kind of like rotate so I could really access the power and kind of like really work my muscles. And uh, yeah, and to increase the intensity I just have to like work back my run up so I can really get into it and start bowling semi-side on. Thank you.